What's up, guys? It's Aaron here. I'm going to go up to Edinburgh Fringe in August, my first show, and I can't wait. But before I do that, I need to preview the show up and down the country. So I've added a bunch of work in progress dates. Manchester's already on sale. Some of the others might be as well by the time this goes out. All the links are going to be in the description. Liam's going to join me for some of them. It's dead small rooms, dead cheap tickets. It's going to be loads of fun. Come down. Let's have a laugh. I'll see you there. Why did this keepers lose a sweep <laughs> Get your lip balm in the back. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I will prove you wrong and I'll smash your head in. I, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a madhead. I love the way that. you've ruined that story for me. Now. <laughs> Thank you. Liam, no. Get me. Get me. <laughs> Liam, you don't need to go this far. I don't feel like... Oh, fuck me. Hold, th- Am Jesus. I the first person who did that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, one hand. The first person to yeah. hold out. <laughs> to squeeze the bottle immediately. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking, <laughs> fucking cartoon. So We're one, not in one Space Jam drinking the fucking... What is it? <laughs> Mike's special juice? I feel like we need a Do you mind if I have a McDonald's <laughs> coffee and just water all over the place and I put my fucking <laughs> feet up? Fuck this podcast, man. What did man. you even I, do? I'm moving in. I'm moving in. Yeah, this is my room now. That was factory sealed. What did you do? I'm just... I've got good... Grip strength, man. I mean, that was insane. Yeah. That's not grip good grip strength. That's, that's the opposite that's exactly of good what grip that strength. Is. No, no, that's the opposite of good grip strength. Do you have good a grip strength means that you are in control of that's your grip, grip strength. That's, that's grip control. That's grip control. Yeah, that's, <laughs> the, that's an important distinction there. Poor yeah. control. Yeah, yeah. Great strength. Oh, I can control my strength. I just can't open the bottle. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I feel like we're just going to watch as this is the episode where slowly that water is going to start to evaporate. <laughs> and <laughs> continuities. <laughs> also, I love the way neither of you are like, hey, can I clean that up? No, we're just nah, going to watch it. Up. Yeah. Hey, well, I thought about getting a towel. But this like- is a nice level table. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's impressive. That hasn't moved. That's just stationary. Yeah, Mr. Ward installed it himself. Yeah. yeah. Do you use a spirit level or is this just by mistake? <laughs> uh, no, no, I just, <laughs> I, I was just fucking genius, man. I just looked at it and, the, you know, there you go. Yeah, like mean, the was, Michelangelo of podcast studio. <laughs> it's, it's, like yeah. like, it's like here, isn't it? That's actually impressive, man. <laughs> really I, uh, I don't feel like we can do the podcast with you now. Not because of the water or anything like that. Just because I feel like we're doing a podcast with a grass. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're the first podcast guest you know what I'm ever. Trying. Talk so, us through what happened. <laughs> to walk Mate. in, report on a crime. <laughs> casually was... as well. What, oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Liam. I can't talk. I'm reporting a crime. The woman's on the other end going, what? <laughs> Your punctuality was, was a, a crime. Woman, that was a because... man, by the way. Oh, that sorry. Was, to I, I'm a, on loudspeaker as well. Dude, I saw some guys breaking into... Um, into a building, and I was like, "Hey, because oh, I've never been yeah, able that's to call. Jake. Don't worry I've about never, it. I've never, <laughs> I've never been able to report a, cr- report a crime. I remember the last time I tried to call the police in South Africa, the number just wasn't working, <laughs> and there was a guy on a motorway just driving like all over. I was like, he's going to kill someone soon. Like it was just amazing. <laughs> so I was like, I, he even went up the, you know, like the shoulder. It had like a curve for a drain thing, and he went up there, like he was doing a half pipe, and then went back onto the motorway. I promise you. <laughs> So I was like, I'll call the, I'll call the police, and then the phone just wasn't working. So I was like, Hey, let me phone the local station in the area on the motorway. The right? fact that you like did something else on top of that, do you know what I mean? Like, I've got one I've, a level of effort in me. Yeah, I will. I'll put a tiny bit of effort in. If that don't work out, well, that's it. I tried. You yeah. also, that you're, but you haven't seen a guy in like a double cab just swinging around. The, it was, I mean, he was going to kill someone. I couldn't so, overtake him. Just uh, it's just ba- crazy, man. You Batman that situation though. You committed a crime to report a crime because you were on your phone while you were driving. Yeah, you see, you you got me there. That's <laughs> maybe why they didn't answer. They were like, no, maybe you end up arresting me. Reflection starts at yeah, home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you work on yourself yeah. first? Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's on his phone, busy reporting me. <laughs> That's why he was swerving because he was. No, mate. That's you. this is what happens. Then I phoned the local police. They told me I'm <clears> lying. That the number works. So yeah, I was like, okay. So then I took the same off ramp as this guy, right? So we took the same off ramp and there was a roadblock, police roadblock, just checking people. Okay. And they let him through for some reason. So I stopped and I was like, hey man, that guy's drinking and he's mad. And the guy started losing his shit with me. He's like, I'm busy with a woman. Don't you come here and tell me how to do my job. And then so I had to <laughs> sit and wait for ages. And then he gave me such shit. And then he was like, oh, no, I will do this. Then I'll talk to you. And that guy was... Who knows by then? He, he's upside down. You remember so, that guy's the, the policeman? I thought this state. was my final moment. English police, I'll phone them. Yeah. And like shit will get done. I was expecting, bang, I'm going to catch the thing. Yeah, Nothing. Yeah. I can't I was, tell you how quick that that person that you were on the phone with just now just fucking 
got rid of that case. He's probably like, what a grass, yeah. just what a piece just, of shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 What yeah. were they breaking into? I don't know. A building. <laughs> right, no way. Yeah. <laughs> it would be great if it was his own house. <laughs> he just yeah, like just left all his and then got to break into their own house. <laughs> like, hey, with the crowbar. With the like, yeah, I left my crowbar <laughs> outside my front door. Yeah, forgot <laughs> the keys, but yeah. I've got the back. <laughs> yeah. He's got a crowbar under the flower pot at the front in case he loses yeah, yeah. his keys. <laughs> the fucking flower pot's just that far off the ground with the fucking crowbar. Yeah, that's hilarious. Is this area like known for, because when the guy was like, where are you? I was like, Stockport. He kind of went, oh, like, yeah. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you've just, someone's just moved into the neighborhood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're going to be busy if you plan on staying here <laughs> to report crimes. You're going to have a busy, busy old day. Just the EE going, we're going to have to rescind your phone contract. Like, this is unlimited. It's just too far. With yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> I, my car got broken uh -huh. into right out here a couple of years back. Um, Did sure you report it? I was going to do some admin. <laughs> you just you're going, yeah, it's, well, it's you started the to hurt you, wasn't I know it? About. It started to hurt you. I just, I just don't want Dustin getting I also wet. got some on my pants here. Uh, <laughs> right on the crotch. Yeah, yeah. I'll rub it off. Um, yeah, we got my car got broken into, and uh, I rang the police. I rang him, sort of said, "Hey, my car's been broken into. Like, shit's been stolen. Don't know what to do about it." And they were like, "Ah, oh, did you uh, did you catch the guys doing it?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, yeah, he's under the patio. Like, yeah, what you? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's handcuffed now. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. now, cable tied him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's tied up yeah, on my yeah, bed. Thankfully, yeah. I had some extra bondage gear. Like, what are you want about? No, of course not. This is the next yeah, morning, yeah. and I've got a broken window. And they were like, oh, well, there's not really a lot we can do about it.' And I spoke to the guys uh, at the housing place. Obviously, we're in a flat, and I said, "There's a CCTV." And they checked the CCTV for me, and there was f video footage of the guy putting my window through. But the police won't come and look at it. Wouldn't come and look at it. I was yeah. like, "We've got the footage of it." And he was like, "Well, we don't have the resources to watch like eight hours of footage." I was like, "We could just scrub." I've got the time. We can scrub the the video, and then when someone's near my car, let's just pause yeah. the video and see what happens. You should do a podcast Stupid. series where you just solve that crime. <laughs> you, you've got the editing footage now. It's like eight hours of just yeah, yeah. If you interview the initial cop, well, I never thought they'd solve that crime. And it's just a window. <laughs> All yeah. these skills. It's like been... the worst fucking Netflix reenactment where a guy just comes and walks in, sits on a chair, and he's like, I this fucked is, up. This <laughs> is so, I, I'd become a criminal then, man, if comedy doesn't work out. Do you I mean, no, seriously, well, why not? They won't even investigate the crime. That's it. You, 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 yeah. you fear, don't you? Cameras being everywhere, and you think, like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. like I, I've, at the airport, I was going to Milan, do the whole thing about putting liquids in a bag and, like, gels and yeah. creams. I, I, You've got a lot bag, of those, yeah. Put it on. I do. I do. I've got ointments, baby. I had to put like me lip balm. I forgot to put me lip balm. Fucking in. hell! <laughs> I, I have plushest lips, and it's not by do accident. Actually, do right. you actually have lip? I've lip got it on me right now. What, what, I, I what, can't wait, you got to guess the flavor. Uh, guess the flavor. What? How well do you on, live? On, what, what flavor is? I'm, I'm gonna go or original. Sip. I don't think he's uh, original. All right, yeah. and you boring ass. I'm gonna go. You're not gonna. I'm gonna do the blue one. I don't know what flavor that is. is it raspberry original. or blueberry? <laughs> That's actually original. <laughs> That's all I can live here. Well, I've got cherry, baby. Cherry I was gonna say cherry. Look, oh, look at that weathered, gonna... weathered tin because I've been packing it for ages. That was one of the ones that scrolled in my mind. I was like, yeah, cherry? No, yeah, Liam wouldn't well, go I, I cherry. Thought, I thought cherry, but yeah, I'm a big oh, lip balm guy myself. To be fair, there we go. I'm a big lip balm guy. Maybe it was the the t-shirt foreshadowing a little bit. Made me say originals. Can yeah. I just say, by the way, that is a like I expect this from you. Oh, well, do I, you know what I mean? wear like, cherry no, no, the T-shirt. Oh, I, I expect the T-shirt from you. Yeah, yeah. This is very summer. This is very summer vibes. I feel like we're in summer. trouble with Aaron. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm always like, whoa, I'm my, sorry. It's my default setting. No, but like, I'm defensive. It, if you if you knew Liam <laughs> really well, you'd know he, he usually he's just like a granddad shirt. You know what I mean? Little plaid number. I've been, in, I've been to um, Milan. It's the fashion capital so you, of the world. I, I, I need effort. to change something. Fucking post Milan Fresh over here. capital of the world. <laughs> Don't tell people you just came back from Milan. <laughs> Milan, actually, we say. Or Milano, as the locals call it. Yeah, fucking I just, and popping pillies. <laughs> I just need to. I just need to. Ch I need to make a change, man. There's so many fucking fashionable people. So right, many fashionable but like, people. Is this there. the change that you've gone for? No, I literally just couldn't be bothered wearing a jumper. You know, is next. this what's usually under the jumper? Yeah, this is one of many t-shirts. Most are playing, actually. This is the only t-shirt I have. Like this. So, are you, do you like it, or you got a, is it not good? It's not no, me. Is it's, it? No, it's not Liam. It's not me. It doesn't fit his vibe. Yeah. Last no. time you wore summer vibes on the pod was Jamie H's episode. You've not done it since. I have. Um, I don't, once or twice. No. Yeah. He wore like a pink shirt. It just wasn't yes. him. Yeah, you know well, I mean? that's me. I felt yeah, like I'm he was a, lying I'm to a himself. Pink shirt kind of guy. No, I like I'm a just, pink shirt, but I just don't think I'm it's stylish now. 
Was this like the, the fashion segment of this podcast? You never told me about this one. Oh, yeah. Like, are we going to critique Liam's only, dress sense? Only, uh, only if Liam comes in wearing something a little bit loud. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think he's calling the police. This is actually a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Crimes against fashion. <laughs> I like how this is like me. This is loud. It's just an Adidas t shirt. Can you describe the guy? Yeah, you look like a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and he had cherry lip gloss. <laughs> You could There's smell him before you could see him. Lip Come on, to me. It's like, unhand your, like, open your pocket. This is cherry flavored lip gloss. How could we discern him? He had a weathered tin of lip balm. That's all he had. <laughs> that uh, yeah, the lip balm, the reason I brought it up is that I forgot to put it in the bag with all the liquids. Walk through security. With it in my pocket. Ah, oh, you nightmare. No problems. No problems whatsoever. Wow. So they tell you all this shite to make you worry. It's more of a gel, me. maybe. No, but that's included in it. Gels, creams, liquids. Yeah. Isn't, Isn't it says? anything? Yeah. No, but it's anything more or less than 100 mils. 100 mils yeah. is a cutoff. Yeah, but, no, but it's still got to go. Still got to go in your in little bag. In the little bag. If this is if you're carrying it on, checking, yeah. what, check, check luggage, whatever. But like, the, I think that they proper drill into you. All of this like security, you know, they've got all the cameras, they've got all the, so that you shit yourself and don't try and bring anything. But it's probably still not very difficult. I, I've got all of that logic. Just let me. Let me just, I've got a question. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, someone's like, I want to commit a crime, but I'm not dedicated to the If I can't bring my lip balm, I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on, my VO5 staying behind. Well, I'm not going then. I'm not going then, Ahmed. I'm not going. What are you on about? What are you on about? That's not a thing. Like, I would, I would love to, I would love, I would love to blow up this plane, but if I can't bring my toothpaste, I'd, you know what I mean? Daddy's got to have his fresh pearly whites. But it could be, and the, that, there's a reason why they make you do that, because you could have fucking glycerin in your Colgate tube. What's glycerin? I don't know. I think they use it to make that. That sounds like it makes you sound glycerin. Yeah, that sounds good. Toothpaste. What is glycerin? <laughs> yeah, you no could glycerin. have fluoride in your toothpaste. <laughs> no, nitroglycerin is an explosive. I doubted myself for a split second. It a split second. Only one explosive. of those. Yeah. Only a split second. Yeah, yeah, it's like, what's the point of all these security <laughs> checkpoints on these fucking planes, you know? Yeah, I don't yeah, think Yeah, wh what's the point? Well, I know, I know, like, a, what's I used the to point? Like, <laughs> okay. It's not, it's not. Ask no. anyone from New York, they'll tell you. What do you <laughs> mean, what's the point? I'm not saying what's the point. On Malaysian saying, Airlines, they're like, he hey, is, we could have been still on an island somewhere in the middle of a fucking ocean. If only we, why are you in your lip gloss got on? Fucking up the signal jammers or whatever. I don't know what they're doing. You radiation, no compass, compass direction things. Apparently, it's quite easy to get stuff abroad. Though I've heard you just boof it, put little, put things in a Johnny, stick it up your ass. Just yeah. as long as you don't get the X-ray. I did a I did a show in. I was <laughs> That's got to be rough for your pal Johnny, isn't it? <laughs> stick <laughs> up your right, yeah. go on, Johnny. You'll get more ticket. in there. <laughs> <laughs> just hope it's not a Christmas tree. That would be hard to <laughs> pull out. It's a visual one now. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy. I was in Bangkok doing a show, and this, I was, I was, I, I lived in Bangkok, and there was a guy from Israel, comic, right? He came and did a show, and I was like, "I'll oh, come to my house, have dinner." So he came to my place afterwards. I gave him a meal, and he was like, "Hey, to thank you, how about I roll us a joint?" And I was like, "Oh, cool." He just you arrived in Bangkok him to the police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I've got to learn Thai first. <laughs> but this guy just wooled out like a uh, this much weed. Like so much. And I was like, where'd you get that? And he's like, I just brought it with me. Into Are Thailand? You, I, no, yeah, I promise you. Isn't that like one of the yes, death penalty countries? Yes, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? Some people are insane. Dude. I know, can you imagine wanting that joint that bad? That you're willing to risk. That's not a joint, That's a, it was a tree. It was honestly like, <laughs> it was so much. It wasn't like a subtle thing. If they'd open his bag, he's jail. You yeah, know what I mean? The only insane, way you know is someone didn't know what weed and was. Well, like, it stink as well. Yeah, he'd oh. still argue he wasn't addicted as well. It's like you just you yeah. just risked genocide. You just risked being brutally genocide murdered. Genocide. Yeah. He got his words mixed up, but I do you know what usually Sorry, I, pick I, him meant, up. I meant glycerin. <laughs> what are you genocidal maniac? <laughs> Guys, I just want a few killing, joints on holiday. Killing Jews with his weed. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah genocide's like a, you know the mass murder of a specific group of people. Yeah, yeah, stoners. <laughs> yeah, I the still don't so see the link. To, like, so <laughs> come on, so I just meant that he got, he's gonna, he, uh, he was gonna get murdered. Genocide sounded like a murderous <laughs> term, which it yeah, is, yeah. but not in that. Context. Yeah, he got like, murdered, hardcore murdered that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> no. I mean, all his buddies for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So Milan was good then. Is it Milan? I enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah, it was. Well, to be fair, I, yes and no. The city, yeah. like we were there, we were in the city on Wouldn't the Friday. Wouldn't be spread negativity if we didn't go on a city break and then have beef with <laughs> that city. Just, no, no, it's just like, we, we went because the flights were super cheap. It was like a last minute thing. My missus sent me like this spar on Instagram on Boxing Day and it looked cool. 
and, and out of curiosity, I thought, I'll see how much. A bar? Spa. A oh, spa. 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 Yeah. So I was like, I'll see how much <laughs> flights are. Is that where you to... got your cherry lipstick? <laughs> yeah, the spa. Spa. into this little thing. I love my lip There we um, go, good stuff. I've told this story on the pod before, I think, but I went to see some fights once, some U- like it was not UFC, it was MMA fights. I think it was Cage Warriors in the Echo Arena. My mates all love it, and I just went for like... Just to be, be a yeah, tag along, basically. Do, yeah. And while we were going through security, <laughs> I went oh, to empty no. my pockets and I dropped my lip balm, that, that same style tin, and it rolled <laughs> into a pile of meat heads and I had to run after it going, oh, I'm no, sorry. That's and not what you up. do there. <laughs> you kick that, oh man, how did that end in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> or, or try and do the prison finger, is that yours, you fucking gimp? So you say that. But before every MMA fight, they have to put like Vaseline on the eyebrows and all that sort of shit. Yeah. So you could just be like, oh, I'm with, with a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. No, I bet you there's <laughs> like not a fighter cherry. you could lick and it'd be like, I'm a cherry. Yeah. That's quite nice. <laughs> eyebrows stink. Yeah. Cherry. cherry. <laughs> Lavender ones so that they go to sleep quicker. <laughs> <laughs> put you in a kip. Yeah, the. Um, so, like, the city was <clears throat> the city that, yeah, we looked Back at to Milan. Spa. Yeah. We sort of looked like a nice spa. I just I looked it up and, like, flights were like 70 quid for the two of us to go. Um, which is like super cheap, so mm. we just like booked the booked the weekend, um, and this on a whim, not really knowing what was there or anything other than this spa. So we were like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll go to the spa on us on the Sunday. Friday we get to the city and we're in the city, and it was just like it was just full of really like well dressed, half pretentious <laughs> people, and it was like very shop focused. You Stuck out. I oh, yeah. I'm in my grand, <laughs> granddad jumper, my jeans, me the fucking same jeans I've been wearing since I was fucking 15 years old. <laughs> no, I definitely stuck out like a sore thumb. And, and, you know, the fucking men are stunning, the women are stunning, and then I'm not. It was very... Oh, you know. no. No, no, we won't have that. No, look, we I mean, that. we're not saying <laughs> Liam's ugly, but he's not stunning. No one's looking and going, that's a exactly. stunning man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to be fair... Okay. If you're really ugly, you're still stunning. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> Fuck me! Whoa! <laughs> Go home! Go Get home, out please. of Milan! Yeah. Yeah. I did something for someone in the spa. Like the bu- the jets in the pool stopped, like stopped, and the button was near me. And I pressed the button, and the guy said something to me, like in gratitude in Italian. But the only words I picked out were "grazie." And grande. <laughs> so I think he could have said thanks, Fancy, big man. Yeah. 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 Thank you, big man. Yeah. Thank you. I know that was a lot of effort for you to do that. Yeah, really reach. appreciate you yeah. doing that exercise. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, my, the, the, well, the reason this the spa like sold it to us. So yeah, the Friday in the city, I was a bit Can like- Can I just was, say, was, he probably said big thanks. As in like, thanks very much. It's probably something like that. And I probably shouldn't have called him a cunt afterwards. No, I didn't really. I was nice. I was nice to him. Yeah, to, to, to be fair as well, that you think Italy, like you automatically just presume hot, but it was the weather was exactly the same as it here. is. I'm February. checking the temperature. The weather. Mm. I know. I know. But some places get like hot in spring and that, don't they? So I just, no. I didn't, I didn't think. I just it was a two-hour flight, but it's not yeah. getting fuck. You're not getting tropical weather there. Oh, but that's you, the reason. I was, the ex- I was expecting yeah. Aruba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it was like here, but with clear blue skies and sun so even though it's freezing when you're in that direct yeah, it's sun the, it's, it's still, still great it tricks yeah, your yeah. mind and but you're like maybe i'm warm yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but then as like so that yeah friday was was good we had a good time but it wasn't like oh my god we're on holiday whereas like saturday we took a train to uh lake como like one of the towns on the side of lake como and it was just unbelievable just like dead rural, 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 rural. I'm fucking doing it now. Why would you say rural, rural? rural yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like you know, away from away from the I hustle and bustle. That, but you you weren't doing what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was. You butchered a word. You said genocide. I right, said but rural. I I confidently said genocide and I said it well. But yeah, he pronounced it the right word. You just struggled with. You had the right word, but you just struggled with the amount of hours. It was rural. It was and like you can see the Alps. It was just like stunning. Had a dead nice day, uh, and then the spa was great. But uh, the, the selling point of the spa on on Instagram, the vi- there was this video. They have this like room. It was like nothing I've ever, ever seen before. There's it's like wall to wall cinemas. I mean, can like, I just say this? Sounds, this is just you and I listening to how fucking amazing this guy's life is on a Monday. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> how's your sick infant and shit? Yeah, no, I was in Milan. It, I know Liam pretty well now though, and all he means by that is like he's walked into this room like nothing he's ever seen before. It just didn't have holes punched in the wall. Like that's, <laughs> do you know what I mean? 
Like it's not yeah. that impressive. Yeah. It's just a room no. that's wallpapered well. This, this, this is. It's literally like wall, wall, what like surrounding you. Four and, walls. And, yeah, okay, it's mad yeah. that. I've heard it. Yeah. Wall. Just, you won't believe it's it. Wall, yeah. wall, wall, wall. Everywhere I look, just walls. <laughs> and and dude, screens like big screens. <laughs> it had a TV as well on the wall. Can you no, believe it? The entire wall. <laughs> this is the homeless man in Milan. <laughs> like a cinema, like a cinema, and it's it's like a hot tub. Like a cinema. It was, uh, it a was cinema like, with was, a hot tub. It was a simulator. Like you're in like a sort of jacuzzi thing. And, a simulator. And so you're in a whirlwind, and it's all tornadoes and stuff on the screen. But there's like wind blowing. Yeah, and that's you're uh, in a rainstorm. That's, that's really sensitive to what's happening in Turkey at the minute. Yeah, nice one. No, that's an earthquake. It's, uh, <laughs> Said the guy happened. was like genocide. You know what I mean? Let's bring up genocide. <laughs> they skipped that sentence. There was, there was like a thunderstorm. So it starts like lightning starts going off. They've got the sounds and it starts pissing down. They've got like, the it, it, it water's coming down from the ceiling. You see this on Instagram and you think that looks phenomenal. But when you're in it, you're like, it's pissing down chlorinated water. My eyes are on fire and I can't fucking see I think. Oh, so she used to go to Sophie's so peaceful, so tranquil, and you know, just pick and choose all the things that you don't like about it. Oh, well, the one thing I did like about yeah, that yeah, room, the best good. sight in the whole room was um, these two Italians going at it. Which is hilarious because you went with your girlfriend, your <laughs> wife, yeah. actually, and yeah. the best sight in the room was, two was this on the Sunday. This was yesterday. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> yeah, Sunday morning. I don't know, but it was yesterday, the day before Monday. Yeah? I don't they know were just, time they were just going at it in the room. Well, well, I say going, right, so the kissing. It wasn't which rain is falling from the ceiling. Public display of affection in like a hot tub, which is only in an enclosed space, you know, like it's yeah. small. You're like, what are they like, doing in the swingers club? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just they proper they were proper like necking each other oh, nice. but like i'm yeah. talking like open mm. mouth like mm. like going for it to the point where it's kind of like uncomfortable yeah. all right and then they then she starts going like like that like open mouth you know like pleasure she's like and you're like that's me mrs turned to me and she went he's inside there and i'm like we started playing a game of cock or finger Mm. Like we couldn't decide what it was that was in her, but something was in her yes. in, in front of everyone. What's the name of this bar? Grande. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the Italians are horny as fuck. There was teenagers in that spa. So many. Like, I don't think you should carry on with this story. No, 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 yeah, there yeah, we go. No, Let's stop. There we are. Thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> I'm not saying that. No, every episode we segment. end it early because of you. <laughs> biting each other's lips. I'm gonna have shit to call the public. police again. <laughs> How do you reckon? Terribly Pee dressed. the pedo. Describe him to us. <laughs> oh, I'm the pedo because they chose to do that next to me. I wasn't looking. You. How did you know they were doing it then? Because it's the first thing you see as you walk yeah, in the room. Yeah. That's brilliant. So <laughs> what spa was this though? I just feel like- I do a... worry that he said, oh, the best thing I saw and then started talking about teenagers. No, 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 no. I said the best thing I saw was you two could Italians edit it like going that. at it. Yeah, they like, were not teenagers. I'm, like Dusty said, I'm choosing not to hear that yeah. part. Because I it makes didn't hear it a more either. fun story if you're a yeah. nonce. Just, I don't, I've got no way of talking myself out of this. No, you're not, no. no. And I, like I said, I'm going to edit you control this. the edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm yeah. pretty much fucked, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. You used to making fun of me about the cinema room. Why was that so funny? Just thought I was blown away by- Walls, 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 like he's prison <laughs> cells. It's the way you described it. Like you, Because you went, I've never seen anything like it. There was like walls. <laughs> Funny End of sentence. <laughs> 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 they had flooring, ceiling. That nah, was good. And a door that you could enter. They had a handle that works. It's crazy. One thing I would not recommend as well is going to a spa on a day that you are flying because it just defeats the object. They were having yeah, such a nice, there, yeah. chilled, <laughs> relaxed day. Back. And then yeah. literally like yeah, yeah. the cute- Get your lip balm in the back. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> the queue for the airport bus was so massive we missed the first one and it was uh, literally like we were the last ones like some of the last ones to board the plane the yeah. doors closed shortly after we got there so it went from like this dead blissful watching teenagers day. and then yeah, like you like for a plane yeah. in the fucking spa and then yeah that's a fucking leg it for the plane so people are rude though like have you ever been in an airport where people are like pushing like yes every security? airport ever what you I've never about? seen it I've never seen people just pushing through the queue or He's jumping right, barriers. People are all chilled. And then when yeah. they're like 
if there's any shortage, like you think you might not get on the plane, and it's like Game yeah. Game of Thrones, yeah, yeah. man. It was well, Squid Game's probably a better <laughs> reference. Genocide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Game it's like Thrones. genocide, genocide. But you miss your plane. Yeah. It was though. It was literally cutthroats. I've never seen any any sort of behaviour like that in an airport. And the security and they're doing fuck all, which supports my point that it's a myth. The cameras, the, all this, it's, right, it's well, the frighten you to shit, not bring shit, shit in. I think we should test that though. So you get a load of weed or some other drug. No, that, that's too pussy. I, I want him to have a proper, like, I want him to worry that he might die. A small animal or something? Because you can't take animals why, abroad, Why would you, you be scared of a small animal? No, not scared. You can't take, like, isn't it like if you take a frog to Australia, you can get arrested? <laughs> I'd leave back at home then. Am I right? Am I right? Random animal, random country, <laughs> like the, frog, Australia. Like that, the that, Simpsons, that. isn't it? Like if you leave a frog, like if you take if you take an animal out in, in, into an environment where it's not, it can fuck up the whole ecosystem. Yeah, it's like it might start it, eating shit. In New Zealand, the hedgehog is messing up the New Zealand countryside because when the English people like came, they wanted to make it like England, so they put the hedgehog. And now they're like, it's like, it's got no predators. Yeah. So it's just That's fucking up shit. So they're hunting hedgehogs. So you're just then, intelligently no, saying No, but how cool is this? So I saw some guy comment and say, no, the problem is uh, they need to get foxes. How cool is that? Yeah. Because they were saying they're complaining because people are trying to make it like England, the New Zealand countryside. No one, you're not getting it. That's no. so stupid. We can just edit that out. <laughs> Sorry. I was I'm done with this podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna phone I the thought you were supporting my fact. I thought you were supporting. I don't know, I don't know what, what I was what? supposed to say. I was looking at me like, does this no, have a no, point? No, what I, the fuck? No, I was fuck listening. <laughs> I was actually listening. Yeah, and I was just waiting to, to like you to finish so I could then I know, respond. that's when I realized it was but a like, terrible story when I was like, I'm giving you my full attention. He was no. like, I still don't see it. I've tried. I've tried in my head. This is just, shut up, dude. Joe, I, I respect that though. I respect that though, because you live edited that story. You were like, you know what? I get. I can see this isn't going to be fun for anyone. I'm going to tell. I'm going to finish telling the story. I'm going to feel bad about myself. You guys aren't enjoying it. Let's just move on. I, I, I appreciate that you live edited because too many people have a fucking story and they just fucking. Yeah. Like he's continue. wishing I had that skill. You know what I mean? No, not that. even. But like, you just, Joey, you're just like, fucking, yeah. you go for your haircut and your bab wants to have a chat with you and you're like, I don't, <clears throat> I don't care about your life, bro. For a long you know time, I mean? you and were my just barber. <laughs> so I relate to that. <laughs> you were his barber. You were his barber. You are a barber, aren't you? No. I was, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So because he was. Used to hook a man up, didn't he? Give me a fresh trim. Do you know what? It's cunty though, having your mate as a barber because now I go elsewhere. He looked at me last time we recorded. He looked at the side of my head and he went, Lad, it was shit. Where'd, where'd you get that? <laughs> it was he, so he was shit, like, though. He was like, your fade shit. <laughs> he just gives you styling shit every time you come on, man. No, but it wasn't even like I'm on camera. You'd rather that. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> he was, he was no, no. I, like, I was doing it as a, uh, to be nice. And, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't go to that like, guy again. He fucked your again. shit up. Yeah, bro. you look terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you paid like friend. 15 quid for it. That's quite, that's average for a haircut. Yeah. You could get a better haircut for that same price. So I, I'm doing you a favor. I know. Would you rather I was like, just, I, oh, yeah, his crown's missing every week, but who cares? I know, but it, <laughs> I know, but it still hits. It hits harder because you're a trained professional. Yeah, but that's that's why I should tell you to go somewhere else. Why does It'll that be hit so harder? much worse if Dustin was like, fuck, hey, your haircut's fucked. <laughs> We've no expertise. Yeah, but I'd be like, he doesn't have I'm a fucking on, clue on what he's on about Aaron, my ears, yeah. boss. I'd right, be but blissfully you ignorant. You don't need to be trained to know that a haircut's shit. Oh, lad, he's hurting me again. But you don't. Oh, you know what I mean? I, I, well, I'm not I, a pilot. I but if it gets fucking, I didn't what? know. I said. I said. Why is it shit? And he went because of, he said because a fade's supposed to be straight like that, not like. That. <laughs> it's like sound waves at the side <laughs> of his head. It's fucking I'm, I'm here just talking. Yeah, it's like about levels, it. though. You could have just been like, "Hey, your hair could be better," and you're like, "I'm going to give you an exact fucking critique." <laughs> well, I asked. Yeah, why? Why? I did ask. So then, I didn't know. I looked at it and I did think when I saw it, I, w I did worry. I had head like an ice gem. <laughs> Joe, like it was all quiff, no substance, like. I just had, I was top heavy, but he was like, no, that's not the problem. It's the sides. So he yeah. diagnosed an issue. Oh, I wow, didn't even there know we go. fucking had. Yeah. Well, you, you fix I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not happy about it. Well, but you're going to go somewhere else next time, right? Probably not. No, it's close and well, convenient. That's on, you. that's on you then. <laughs> that's on you. And I will continue to point out how shit that's, it is. That's what I love about this guy. He's like, I don't care. Uh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's it still... was so funny though, because that very same day he sent me, he's got his wedding video back. He got married. Uh, when was it? July? June? July? Uh, September. September. Sweet. Yeah. So he got, he got married, finally got the wedding Great video back. Sent me the link the so I could have a little look at it. So I could yeah. relive the June, day. June, July. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't remember when it fucking was, but <laughs> it's February it's two now. seasons as well. It's like <laughs> yeah. you just have to remember: was it summer or not? That's all you had to do. <laughs> don't fucking judge me. Yeah, you it was, said it was a deceptively nice. Day. Hang on, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. It was a good day. In you September. asked him a second ago what day was this on, and he was it Sunday, and he went, he went no, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. You don't have any room to judge. 
Let me tell my story. Okay. So, yes, boss. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's fine. You tell the story of my special day. Go on. Yeah. So he sent me the wedding video. I'm watching it. And the whole time, I'd done his hair like three days before the wedding, two days before the wedding. And it was, mwah. back me up. That was fire. You looked fire yeah, on your I wedding did, day. I did. As and all he's done, all he's done is I've screenshot that to me. I said, look at how much better your hair was yeah. in September, apparently. But he's not asked now. So all he's done is get married to Beck and then go, yeah, yeah. well. That's marriage. I don't care yeah, anymore. You, you don't I'm need done. to. No, no. <laughs> Too much effort. She starts getting worried. Actually, it's, yeah, it's, she it's, thinks what's what, going who you on. Are, who are you doing yeah. behind my back? <laughs> Why are you putting so much effort? <laughs> I thought you were going to say who you tried to impress. Not who are you doing? <laughs> it's it'd already be so happening. funny. It'd be so funny if that was what happened. <laughs> she was like, "What the? F Why? Why? Why have you started going to different barbers now? Why is your hair looking great all the time?" It's like, um, because my fellow podcast host <laughs> bullies me. <laughs> like, you're not even going out yeah, with yeah, anyone. Yeah, see, just like, just one of my friends makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> for the same reason I joined the gym and haven't started going. <laughs> I've been paying for the gym for four months thinking that'll get me skinny and I haven't set foot through I the don't door I think that's yet. how it works, yeah. yeah. And you're so like fucking on top with money all the time as well. You're like, I need to make sure that like my money's where I need it to be and yeah. stuff. And you just I, well, I was in the right headspace. I was like, change. Mm. I need to make mm. a change. Yeah. And then I hit my back walking. That was four months ago, Sorry, though. I yeah, know. I know. No, no, it's laugh, laugh. I How literally did you bought back laugh walking though. Just because I'd fucking, I'm so inactive. I just was just power walking. Were you at this least morning. walking to the gym. No, I was walking no? the dog as a warm up before hitting the gym Ooh, the next day. I was starting a routine, Dustin. That's a sign. Six a.m. Yeah, get up, it's get out the early. door. You're still stiff. That's the problem because you you're sleeping. You fucking mess on me. No, people say get get a good start to the day. Yeah, but you got to stretch first before you, you can't just wake up at six cold turkey. You don't have to and stretch to walk, surely. <laughs> and why you am I fucking do? What do you mean you don't have to stretch? You pulled something because you didn't stretch. That's yeah, the definition of needing to stretch. We don't have to stretch. Yeah, walking. we, we, can, we like can even just, go for a light jog. I just walk. Yeah. So you telling me I have to stretch yeah. before a walk? Yeah. Well, now I can make the change I wanted. I, what, what I would do if I were you, I would start stretching thirty days in advance. And yeah. then every day for a month stretch and then start the what walk. What I would love is Liam outside with his dog doing this full on stretch and people are like, he has a workout and then he just starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> like slower than average pace, which is so <laughs> just stop 10 steps because the dog's so doing true. a poo or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the walk's over. <laughs> <laughs> it was a strenuous walk for me because I walked at my wife's pace rather than vice versa. <laughs> Yeah, I have so a how did life. you? What did you pull? An ankle? A my lower back? An ankle? <laughs> <laughs> my lower back? But how? What did you do? Take a long stride? Or? I, don't, I just got in. You're like an wall. old lady. Man. I felt good. I haven't started work yet. I go get a shower. I sit at the desk. Load the laptop out. Uh, that might be it. I twisted to turn the fire on, and then just started hurting. Like just my back just went and just st like I I've never had back pain like yeah, that before, yeah. and it was prolonged for like say maybe like three, maybe even four weeks before it started to feel like normal. Yeah, and then I, just all of that good mental headspace I was in had gone, gone and I just yeah. couldn't be fucking asked. And now I've been paying for the gym ever since. Are you are you contracted to it? Nah, you can sign. <laughs> you, you can't. You don't want to admit it to yourself. You can't even take that. I am gonna yeah. get swat. Look. That's going to be me by the end of the year, Dustin. What's that? A swole duck, but ignore the fact that oh, it's a right. duck. Oh, right, okay. Do you see pecs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see pecs, yeah. Abs, let's be realistic. Yep. I'm never going to have them. No. It's too much gut. Yeah. But pecs, it's doable. Nice tight nipples there as well. <laughs> <in that pack. laughs> I've already got them bad boys. <laughs> you thinking you're going to have any sort of pecs, abs, whatever is... I will prove you wrong and I'll smash your head in. When I'm built, not now. Like you've been this saying series. this for four months. Yeah. <laughs> you've not been yet. I'm develop. I'm starting the training up here. You've got to train up here first before you train. By no, talking I yourself think, out I think of if it. you're trying to get to duckhead, you need to just go to the gym. <laughs> just do like one push up a day. Just start there. I can't even. <laughs> Don't forget to I can't stretch. Do that. I wanted to start with walking. Start with a 25 minute stretch and a one minute walk workout. <laughs> Gradually and then the, uh... <laughs> we've got merch. Finally, we've got merch. We've been talking about doing this for ages and we've finally made it happen. We've got our own online store at spreadnegativitypod.com. We're selling t shirts with logos, we're selling queefs, whatever you want, we've got it. <laughs> we're selling queefs in a jar if you want one. <laughs> <laughs>
fucking here. We've got beanies, mugs, phone cases, loads of stuff like that. So check it out. But if you do order something, and I cannot stress this enough, order one size up. I'm a large, structural large in most things. I've got a 2XL in this. Liam, you'll notice, doesn't even have a hoodie yet because they're still making his out of a bed sheet, right? Proper nightmare stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Check us out, spreadnegativitypod.com. If there's anything that you want and you don't see, let us know. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, we'll sort it out. And we will get better at these adverts as time goes on. Okay, so here's something I thought of because I'm a grass, apparently, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like those guys, that cop didn't give a shit. Like he was just like, I'm going to hang up on this moron and then let them break into whatever they want, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But if you if, let's say the maximum penalty was like two years. You could go to jail for two years. First time doing a crime if you don't have a criminal record. And you could like go steal millions or whatever. What'd you, would you do that? Like what would you do? So it's, would you actually do that? And what would you do? Like I'm thinking it's tempting, man. Like look. Two years. I'm still a shit house. Six you know months? I mean? Six months? I know. I mean, I, I want you time? in the courtroom. So you're, you're just going to keep lowering it every time. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good six one. Liam's, no? <laughs> Liam's like, you didn't mean genocide <laughs> in three months. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets cherry lip gloss in his prison cell. Okay? Yeah, in my commissary, gloss. you better hook me up, okay? Uh, so is he going to lube that but Okay, well, what's reasonable? Like a year. Let's say, yeah, you can do a year. You've done a podcast with this guy for a year and each other. <laughs> yeah, that's like prison. prison. Yeah, yeah, Prison's yeah. I think Prison's a year like in work. prison could be good for me. Do you know the discipline? Yeah. Just like having yeah. no distract. I would be fucking hard, <laughs> fast, strong. I'd be writing. I'd be fucking everything I could be. My potential would be maxed. I'm a likable guy. I'm not going to get be like fucked. Fucking I've never seen and limitless. So, <laughs> I've never like, seen someone so pumped up for jail. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's a motivational speaker for he watched, convicts. He watched one fucking episode of Prison Break and was like, that looks pretty sick, to be fair. <laughs> like, all those tattoos. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> I'd, become, I'd be a gay man in real life. <laughs> Do you know how busy I am? I struggle to re find the time to read a book. I would read so many fucking books in prison, dude. It would be un like I'm I'm fucking sounds like a holiday. For you. I'm smiling at the thought. I could do one year. Right. So the okay, crime. Okay. So then the crime. Like, but go big. I. I it's not. Oh, I, I think I'm already fucking. <laughs> Him up. stretching before he robs the bank. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna import illegal frogs so, into Australia. <laughs> you've said rob a bank. Can't do that. No. Because yeah, proceeds of crime, you can't keep it. Do you know what I mean? So you do that crap. You go to jail. You're not going to keep everything you've just robbed. So what's the other option? This guy's looked into it, dude. I didn't yeah. know about that. I'm going to... I'm gonna. You didn't know that if you get caught robbing a bank, you can't keep the money after you <laughs> Okay, shall you have that? keepers lose his weepers? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, shall I, I, I give you the money down. and go to jail? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, it's in my bag. I put the work in. I put the work in. I'm not being funny. Like I did it. I did it. Put me away. But I want that waiting for yeah. me when I come out. In invest in it. No, I, I am. My, I think. I would. I, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a madhead. I would take a life. Jesus. Fucking hell. <laughs> Are you saying that seriously? Like a, li a like very a specific life. Okay. Right? So I would just wait. <laughs> his own when he he's, finds out like he's going he's to jail. He's like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I don't even know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to read books, but now I'm stuck on the first letter. <laughs> There's one about genocide. It doesn't even make sense. Oh, no, I don't just mean like any life. I, I mean, I'm but it wouldn't be like specifically targeted. It's a group of people. I will wait until I was on the motorway, right? Mm. And I'm in that third lane. And I'm overtaking traffic slower than me in the second lane. But I've got some fucking cunt up my ass, flashing me, trying to get me Break to move. Check. When I know... That I'm overtaking this traffic in the second lane, you dickhead. Yeah, yeah. I have every right to, to yeah. be in this lane. I'm going faster than the truck. Yeah, you fucking yeah. twat. So why are you flashing me to get out mm. your way? Because I'm inconveniencing yeah, you. Just because you got sirens on. What the fuck do you know? <laughs> 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 Just, he'd probably do that as well, Liam. You know what I mean? Like, oh, what, uh, it says Ambu Papalala on, uh, on your yellow vehicle van just because you're late for a job. Vehicle van! <laughs> <laughs> and I just tap that little brake baby and wipe him the fuck out. You fuck with right, me. But the thing, you get killed. You the see, problem that you've, you've got with this story is like, you wouldn't even have to go to jail because you'd be dead. <laughs> you're doing. Go to Fabio. If you're a, 
Mate, come on. If you're it's already overtaking... It's made by Volkswagen. Germans no, have the do, best engineering. What you do is you, you brake, but you, you <laughs> so make heard, sure... Yeah. <laughs> as you brake, as he's about to hit you, you speed up. Yes. And then he'll jump over you. The old... I saw it in a Tom yeah. Cruise movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd yeah. fucking... I'd fucking been have you even me. watched The Matrix? Like, yeah. what... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just a surprising. I was like, "What crime to enrich yourself?" And he was like, "I want to kill someone." That's like a specific. I mean, to be fair, in my defence, this happened to me on the way here, so it's, I'm quite okay because you were quite late. I'm so quite fresh. You were speeding. That's I'm why quite I was fresh. Well. No, I wasn't. I see. I actually I do the speed limit. Well, free fire. No, that's why he's though. fucking flashing Wait, you know, I'm still like, overtaking the slower traffic. I have every listen, right to be in that quicker. lane. Listen, I got you on time, right? And then you were like, "Oh, Liam's late. He's coming from Liverpool." And I was like, "Oh, I also came from." <laughs> You came from first. Like, oh, sorry, he's late. He's come from the same place as you. <laughs> he was in the oh. white van. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you flashed at me. Do you know what? That was well after me moaning about that. And, and then, and then, and then did it to someone else like further down the road. No, no. Yeah, but, but in my defense. No it was, defense. It was in lane one and we were merging and they were doing 40, 50 on the motorway. That's mm, a yeah. fucking. Stop it. You're the cunt. I was, so I got fucked. Both directions, front yeah. and back. It wasn't even my birthday. Yeah. So the question you were asking before, I've yes. seen, we're very late to the party and every other podcast in the world has done this question. Um, but it does sort of follow the same line as what you were saying. So you can make, um, how, how do you sort of frame this? So all crime, oh, sorry, no. How do you, how do you, how do you frame this? I'm trying to remember from where I've seen it. Um, you commit a crime. Yeah. But after you've committed that crime, it's not possible for anyone else to commit it ever again. So you have to do it. The second you do it, it doesn't exist Is anymore. Is that double jeopardy or something? What do you mean? Like, if you kill me, no one else can kill me. Is that what you No, mean? nobody else can commit murder. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I know so, what I'd do. I don't think that's how law works. I'm, I'm okay to go with this. <laughs> no, if but, you do a crime, no one else can do that crime. <laughs> hey, no one copy me. Right, but <laughs> it's <laughs> no one's on the third lane breaking the person behind them. Liam already killed two people, dude. You can't do that. It, but that's it. This is a this is a magical, crime. Yeah, wait, magical fantasy world. This is the yeah, premise. This, yeah, so okay, it's, so you've it's, created it's complete, a magical it's fantasy. It's like a Marvel yeah. movie. Multiverse, so, yeah. yeah. So you commit a crime. Once you've committed that crime, nobody else can ever commit that crime again. But you've got to think of it this way. You can't just go, oh. I hate when people are fucking speeding on the road. So I'll speed and then it's not possible. Because that's can't a boring, that generic. But you can't do that again either. Murder. And your instinct <clears throat> is probably to go like the really bad ones, but then you've got yeah. to do it. Do you know what I mean? So that's where this, the dilemma comes from. Mm. So which crime do you go for? I'd make the world a better place and I'd take the hit for everybody. And I would just, <laughs> what to <does> say? <laughs> just racial abuse. I would just, call someone an inappropriate word, right? And I'd get battered, whatever my punishment be, I would take it on the chin to make the world a better place if no one else can do that again. You know, oh, we are the world. He's like falling on the cross of a foot. Yeah, yeah. We the are the children. Do, do, do you know what's concerning go. though? I like Because he said, I'll commit racial abuse. And our, all of our brains went to the exact same place. And he would obviously Don't call make someone. Sound, but... No, no. But he would obviously call someone the word that we're all thinking of. Whichever word you're thinking of is the word that you use more often. Um, <laughs> but but I'm you could scared. just call right now. You could just call. Like we're doing a crime. We're you could just call me a honky. Yeah, crackerjack. And then that's the racial abuse. But that's not what your head was going. You it's wouldn't exactly have thought to do this. You'd have walked going. straight into the fucking Chinatown <laughs> <laughs> and be like, "Hey, you!" <laughs> and I'd be like, "Liam, no, get me, get me." <laughs> <laughs> Liam, you don't need to go this far. It's just a category. We need to check. It was just a good joke question. It's not. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to risk. I wouldn't want to risk it being that if I racially abuse you, then it's just white people who are protected. Okay, but from so racial you do abuse. It to black people. Uh, so we've still got racial abuse for all the other races. If it's what, if it's the cross, I've got to bear to make the world a better place. You don't have to bear the cross. In this, it, I'm not talking now in the real world. I'm talking in the Marvel movie. Okay. <sighs> this is skiing. Fuck. What well, sweets what did you, you have in the break? <laughs> oh, I had some Skittles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. not saying I want to do it. Of all different colours, because we just care. All right, okay. What, what are you going to do then? <laughs> I was just going to try to rob people out of money and then... Go well, then nobody somewhere. else can do that. But to be but fair... No, but no, I mean, I, I came oh. up with this before you came up with this new rule about, you know, okay, no copying just... crime. Oh, so you'd do the jail time? Robbing yeah, that was... Money. Yeah. But like, so from people? Like, think of it like this way. You deal, let's say you 
you go and rob, okay, a bank, I don't know, you rob a bank, what's the first time you yeah. just plead guilty, like six months? That's worth a risk. Come up with a good crime idea. Yeah, but you're not going to keep the money, though, remember. But if, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then you've got a criminal oh, record. Okay, so never mind. I, I just forget money yeah, ever. yeah, there we go. <laughs> never mind. But in this scenario. I could write a book about my experience. <laughs> the dumbest criminal ever. <laughs> How I learned about, what is it, repossessions of a crime law. <laughs> <laughs> you could put in Aaron oh, scenario. You could rob. You could rob. You could do this robbery, and then no one else would be able to do it. Yeah. And I straight away I went. I'd, I'd just murder a baby, what? and then nobody else can murder a baby anymore. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's where my brain went right yeah. away. His was like quite noble, and actually he was like, oh yeah, this I'll yes. do this. But that's weird because you wouldn't want to do baby murder any of those oh, crimes. No, 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 like, abuse. no, no. But you're like, just wait till the person who's going to do it does it. Have you met some why children? Why there's a baby <laughs> who is naturally going to be killed, and you're like, I will kill you, so that baby doesn't die. And this baby's like, but bro, come on. Yeah, why are you putting it on your? Shoulders? And you're like, I'm a hero in this situation. Okay, I am doing this for the good of humanity. You're like someone who gives to yeah, charity and posts yeah. about it on fucking Facebook. You're not doing it for the homeless person. You just want to show how good a person you are. I, uh, I, I, I did racial abuse i killed a baby and uh, that's all in my good day's work i'm a hero <laughs> and it was only sunday the day before yesterday <laughs> oh, fucking oh, right, oh, i'm man. sick of incriminating myself have you yeah, got any features bad in it yeah <clears throat> just some features. I, that that was not where i thought that question was going to go um, by the way thank you i regret that. That making was... the statements i made um i just thought i leaned at the thing i saw rage ago i wasn't going to do it on the pod because i was like i half don't want to fucking it's just done the rounds. Every podcast has done that question, mm. but I thought it leaned into yours quite well. Uh, anyway, okay, right, let's have a look. So we do read out a couple of Reddit posts. Usually you've seen a couple of episodes, mm. so you know you know the drill. Just find something funny, find something interesting. We'll just have a little chat, a little discussion about it. So this one says, today I fucked up by swiping on my girlfriend's phone. I've been with my girl... <laughs> what was that noise you made? Ooh, sounds <laughs> like a juicy one. I've been with my girlfriend for about a year and I already know she's the love of my life. She's perfect for me. We're perfect for each other. We're getting ready to move in with each other and I want nothing more than to start a family with her and spend the rest of my life with her. We went on a short vacation last week and when we, when we returned, she gave me her phone to look at some photos from the trip. She went to the bathroom while I had her phone and as I was scrolling through the pictures, it kind of jumped to a period that was about a year and a half ago. If you have an iPhone, you know what I'm talking about. You scroll a little bit too fast and all of a sudden you're back at the start of the photo album. It's really annoying. But some photos caught my eye. Some photos that I really shouldn't be seeing of her and her previous boyfriend. Ooh. There she is, the love of my life, trying to get her mouth around the biggest dick I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Trying? <laughs> trying? Not even succeeding? I've watched Paul oh. a lot. I've never seen a dick like this. I'm, take, I'm talking bigger than two Coke cans stacked on top of each other. Longer and thicker. As far as I could tell, she was unable to get her teeth around it. I could see another thumbnail of her comparing the size of his dick to her forearm and, and with a look of wonder and glee on her face. I closed the pictures and I've... <laughs> This is horrible. I close the pictures and I've acted like nothing has happened, but I cannot get these images out of my mind. I've never been self-conscious about my dick size. I just acted like, no, you're just standing there. <laughs> staring into the picture. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm not fine. She gives and puts Would a can like of coke on the <laughs> <Yeah>. face. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like. <laughs> he's trying to drink the coke like that. <laughs> oh, you, you just Can I get a, a Pepsi? Little hole it's coke right right now. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. There's no way back from that. Man. That's uh, terrible. Fucking hell. Uh, I close the pictures. I've acted like nothing has happened, but I cannot get these images out of my mind. I've never been self-conscious about my dick size. In fact, if you believe the stats, I'm significantly above average. But this is destroyed my self-esteem. You're not a coke can, though, are you? We haven't had sex since. I cannot concentrate on my work. I just wish I had never seen those damn pictures. My today, work. I <laughs> today, yeah. <laughs> he's working the bedroom or he stops. Uh, <laughs> you, you might have meant his day job. I thought he meant putting the dick down. Yeah. <laughs> so like so it's someone who sent you guys this. So no, no, this was on Reddit. Oh, right. Yeah, we don't have enough listeners to get <laughs> You never know. We would love if someone oh, sent us stuff like this. that's mad. But not enough. Poor guy. <laughs> um, I because she kept those photos for a reason. It's not like she was like, oh, I didn't yeah. realize I never deleted those. She was like, I need to keep the forearm on pictures. I you back, know what I mean? I back that. Because I, n nothing sexual, but I have like photos from my last relationship and I never go back and look at them, but I've just got them. And a part, like I've been with Beck for seven years. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, yeah, phones even how invented then. What are you on about? This? Yeah, no, oh, I, I've backed up everything. I've actually got. Everything from every phone I've ever had. He records his amateur. Since since I had like 
a phone in Sounds school. Sounds awful in suspicious. In the schoolyard. No, I promise I've never recorded Are you the guy right well, no one's ever lied. on Reddit? Reddit. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was you. Because they were just ah! on a vacation somewhere recently. Yeah, came back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The fucking coke can. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my wife. He's written in. <laughs> that's why he was trying to kill someone on the way here. Because <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't it's pay me It's tough, isn't it? Because what he's saying, like... That's heartbreaking. But you yeah. can't delete the past. Like... You can. You can go you can on quite literally delete, delete the past. That's, that's, that's the whole exactly, issue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he should, she should have deleted the past. She, but it's the past for a reason. That sounds like... To be fair... A like, task. I've Do you want to be <laughs> chewing on a Coke can? Yeah. It's hard work. There's only so much jaw. But also, you don't... I, I, you wouldn't delete that picture? I would I, I don't think you'd delete that, that picture. Like, I've got photos of big monuments. You know what I mean? Like from when I've been on holiday and that. Leading Tower of Peace. <laughs> yeah. Leading Tower of Penis. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know what I mean? She's she's probably like, that was, that was the day I saw the biggest dick in the world. It's yeah. a memory for yeah, yeah, yeah. Two but cans of Coke and as many calories, believe it or not. <laughs> just. <laughs> it was Coke Zero. <laughs> Two cans of cum. <laughs> yeah, terrible. No, I, I, um, I do think it's important to like. I hear you. You though. can't erase yeah. the past. You just got to accept what it was. But like, you also were allowed to reflect on the past too. Like, I don't go. It's not as if I go and look back at pictures like of my ex. He's reflecting on her past a lot. <laughs> he's fucking devastated because he's 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 relating his her past to their present. Yeah. There's a reason why she's not with that guy anymore. And it's probably not his dick. She did probably enjoy that. But she's did with she him though? now. Two cans of Coke. I can't did imagine that being that fun. <laughs> if someone like a four that's arm, what that's I'm saying. Like, I don't like because I've I, I, like, I spoke to girls before. <laughs> oh, a big oh, fucking straight <laughs> white male award goes to <laughs> no, Aaron but, like, Wood. I've, I've spoke to girls before and they do say, like, when it's too big, it's like, this is a problem. Beth's one of those people. I don't want to get into it, right? But like, she's, do you know what I mean? Like people yeah. have, who have been with guys that have got massive fucking songs. I've spoke to lads before who, oh, my mate's got a massive dick. And he yeah. said, girls just don't fucking, they're not into it. Yeah. And I've it's, watched, I watched it, a documentary. It's very hard, poor me. What this guy's got a 12 inch cock. <laughs> Pornhub.com slash documentaries. It was, it was yeah. on Channel 4. It was called My Massive Cock. And oh, it genuinely wow. was like the Where like Was Me story. This, we actually, did, yeah. yeah. It was just like the Where Was Me story of that men having big dicks. But it's not all it's cracked up to be, you know? No. It's a hard like you gotta buy special underwear. Also, the big reveal's gotta be a big if you if you're self conscious about it, I imagine. Yeah. Right? Because that's not yeah. just that's like, hey, I'm gonna Yeah. I mean it's just one of those, I guess if you like if you've never lived it, you don't know the actual experience of it, do you? But if he's got a if he's got a dick that's significantly above average, as he says, then it's no problem. Yeah. I get I get his concerns. Cause it I, I'm not being funny. Like I'm fine with my dick, and I'm very aware that Beth's been with people that are bigger, and that's all absolutely fine. However, if she showed me a photo of her, like, <laughs> I don't think you know what I mean. Like I'm, I'm quite secure. You need a two week grace period. My, my, or dick's, my dick's <laughs> solid. I'm very secure in it. It's a solid dick, but it's not solid enough where that doesn't hurt me when I see it, like. I know, can I know. You, the glee. He said she had glee as well, like pure <laughs> happiness. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But if she was, if she looked concerned, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, I, I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't think I could look at Beth with a, in a picture of with any dick, to be honest, except mine. Um, yeah. But less so if it was in honest. At the end of the day, Goldilocks walked into the Three Bears house. And she saw Daddy Bear's big steaming bowl of porridge. She thought that looks fucking. I tasty love the way that. you've ruined that story for me forever now. <laughs> Thank you. I've got a daughter. I'm going to read that one day to her. Years from now, it's not even going to be on my mind. I'll be like, Daddy, steamy porridge. I'm going to be like, Oh my god, man. <laughs> she had a I can of coke. Think, yeah. <laughs> and she had a bottle of Sprite. It just worked out before it was. Let's try right. Snow White. <laughs> Let's try Snow White, that woman that lived with seven men. Let's try that one. <laughs> but yeah, man, maybe he's got Goldilocks dick. It's just right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not too hot, not too cold. I think we're about there now. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Fucking up. Gracias, grande. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually grazie. I, I don't know what it is. Is it grazie, grazie? I don't fucking know. Can I do the outro? <laughs> uh, if you're new to the podcast that you're watching because Dustin's on first of all thanks we really appreciate mm. it and we do a section at the end called off your chest what was off that your nice chest part? yeah <laughs> you got something you want to get off your chest yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay good um, we do a section at the end called off your chest where we invite the guest or a listener if you want to send something in spread negativity part at gmail.com we just invite them to get something off their chest so Dustin have you got something sir like something that's just annoyed me recently is that it if yes. you wish yeah. yeah I bought a house and everyone's like, congratulations, right? Okay. 
<laughs> of the previous owner. This is the same thing with that guy's dick. <laughs> where he's like, ah, oh, fuck me, I'm a, my big dick, I'm gutted, this is awful. He's like, I bought a house and everyone's happy for me. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. The same no, thing. listen, this is what happened. Everyone's like, congratulations. But the lady we bought it from just left everything in the house. Like when I say everything, I mean like she woke up, had a cup of coffee fuck and off. then just left. Clothes still, it, it was terrible. And this is the thing, like it was like she left her, she's 70, she left her underwear, just one pair of knickers in the washing machine. Why? Was she- for who? And then, <laughs> <laughs> as if it was left for anyone. <laughs> That's not, is that a for mistake? You? No, it took us like weeks to get rid of the stuff, man. And then, and then the goldfish, she had a goldfish it took in us the weeks back. to get rid of it, just with that one pair of underwear in the back. No, you get it, it just. <laughs> he meant the smell. Yeah, 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 yeah everything. No, no, so I've, I'm furiated. I, I went can, up I to the attic to that. full, but she left the goldfish as well. So she left us a goldfish. Oh, God, this in the washing machine as well? She turned the pump off for the goldfish. So she just left us a dead goldfish. Who does that? <laughs> God, Jesus, that's, serial psych- killer. that's psycho, man. Because you have to like. I was thinking about it. I was like, she. That was the life support system for that yeah, goldfish, yeah. and she was just like beep You're as she's going. You're well, the goldfish. Yeah, I've, I've, it's still floating around, man. You're, I can't bring still, myself. Well, I can't know. <laughs> I can't. That poor goldfish. It's like it's a crime. <laughs> I, I should call the police. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're the goldfish, though. She, it's a message she's sending. Do you know, like this was this goldfish's house. And it was dead yeah. happy. But look what I've done to it. She's gonna yeah. kill you while you're sleeping. She Maybe. knows where you I live. I mean, she came two weeks ago for mail, and I was like, "You, you what are you? Are you mad? <laughs> just, <laughs> just give her the are fucking goldfish in envelope." <laughs> are you insane? She left like dog food on the floor. No, right, I, that's I've crazy. never exactly. When we, my me and Beth bought ours, um, the the woman that we bought it off, like the inside, she pretty much emptied, mm. but the she just threw everything in the garden. Like ah, I've, shown, no. I've shown you the clip, haven't I? Yeah. Like the little video. It's, the garden was just fucked. And it's, it took, genuinely, I mowed the lawn like six months after living there. Bear in mind, I've continued, I've yeah, mowed yeah. the lawn before and I was still finding like little, like a kid's ball and shit like that. Like it'd been bedded. Ball? Into ball. All I've been thinking the entire time when you like the left the inside empty balls in the back, I've just been thinking about that guy and his huge penis. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> He's probably done the same thing. Left her empty inside. <laughs> Ball in the Balls back. The back. <laughs> New neighbors like I don't think I I, I I can fit in yet, but there's a problem. There's too many memories in the garden. I can't. Goldilocks. Is there not? A, I can't even eat porridge again, Liam. <laughs> is there not like a? Cl- do they? They're selling you that item. If I give someone a PlayStation that had a piece of fucking toast in it, I'm pretty sure that I'd be breaking some sort of consumer rights. Yeah, it's my problem you have, though, is you buy a scene, so it's not uncommon to have a second view in the day before you complete. In my fault, I was just a naive, friendly Because, like, I was, guy, was the assuming. place that we, when we first viewed the place, it was, like, it looked great. And then when we b- moved into it, like, all the carpet, like, she'd fucking left, like, hair straighteners on the floor and stuff, so it was fucked. So you're so we supposed needed, to like, go new, back in before yeah, you make rec- that payment. It was, like, so, yeah. three skips, big ones of stuff. And you had to- Yeah, and everyone's like, congratulations on the new house. I'm like, not yet. No, it's not yet. <laughs> congratulations. So, d- so in Dustin's right. case, he would go back and he'd see the shit tip the place was in and be like, if this isn't done, if this isn't cleared by 12 o'clock tomorrow, I'll be back at 12. Yeah, that's what I, I should have done. Yeah, yeah, I won't you know complete. I mean? yeah. And then she shits herself yeah. and she goes, right, I need to get all this But I was like, yeah. I want to get on the, the property ladder. Well, that yeah. was us. Yeah. That was us. We didn't bother with the second no. Because we were like, well, what- That's what, what they know. What would have to be wrong with this house? It's been nine months. What would yep. have to be wrong with this before we go, yep. no, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to buy it. They're that. like first time buyers. They're like, oh, that's great. We don't have to move anything out. Yeah. That's cool. Dude, Dude, moldy that, chips in the air fryer. Are you messing? Uh, no, I took pictures, dude. <laughs> <laughs> have you got the pictures? Could you slide <laughs> yeah, them yeah. in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll slide them into yeah, the yeah. episodes. Of I've got see. videos. <laughs> that's disgusting. Mate, it's disgusting. You know how we knew she left underwear in the washing machine? We could smell. We were like, oh, something's foul in this place. No, it was disgusting. That is horrible. Yeah. I'm I trying to think what else. The, fri- the fish, though, just killed me. Well, killed the fish, not me. What yeah. was she doing that day? Was it all in the day's work? Because I'm she just like, assuming it's the day- last day. Like, she's like, mm-hmm, knickers off, yeah, yeah, coffee yeah. made, drank, chips, I'll eat one or yeah. two, goldfish, fuck off. Like, yeah. it was all in the one day. Underwear, yeah. in the wash, <laughs> going commando. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the best part of the story. You got your there's, knickers, there's a lady Carol. that's moved out of yeah. a house with no <laughs> fucking pants on. You're fucking Westworld. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's something. <laughs> it's just been so much work. Yeah, uh, yeah. is it a night like because we're we're like I've mentioned, you know, living with Beck's mum and dad. We're just wait at the moment. The market's a bit mad. Aren't we? We're just kind of bided our time. But I'm also sort of like dreading 
being a homeowner because that's why I want to do large traveling this year because I know that when you're a homeowner. Yeah. yeah. They don't tell you that. It's like a bre leaving, breathing, what is it? Living, breathing. Dude, this is what we did. The, the cooker wasn't working properly, right? Or it's like we got a new cooker. So we went and got, you know, the gas, the electric guy, and they were like, oh, mate, um, they've used an extension cable that you would use for a lamp to wire up their cooker. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it's this just a ball, but I hate her, man. <laughs> you know I'm just do? like, I want to burn the building, just get the insurance money and apologize for ever having goals. Do you know what you should like, do? Like, why would you do that, dude? The, the electrician said, you know what he said? This is, he was trying to be funny. He's like, oh, I'm surprised this still works. And he went, anyway, got to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he's come fitting. Then he just left. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want the no. job. <laughs> Fucking hell. Do you know what you should do? You should go and Killer. find it and yeah. commit granite. That's why it's six months. <laughs> it's like your crime. Yeah. It's like your free pass <laughs> crime. <laughs> yeah. You made Just it work. her with that underwear and then shove the fish down her throat. That's what I would do. <laughs> uh, Dustin, this has been loads of fun, man. Mate, Thanks it's so been much amazing. for coming on. Thank you. We appreciate it. Have you got anything you want to plug? Um, yeah, I mean, Instagram, Dustin Moore Comedian. Yeah, sick. That's it. Twitter, all that good no, stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm still just, no, just Instagram. Yeah, you just, yeah. It was just a lot are of no's. That's why I Twitter? left. Are we, I kind of like feel like we have to be, but I'm not really. Am I? I'm dead. Like, no, no I tried media. once. I was, I'm going to tweet. He went funny to Milan. You wouldn't have even known he was there. He's fucking terrible. Yeah, I just don't on social media. Oh, really? Because he didn't media. shut up about, about it for the first time. No, it was insane. On his podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dustin, give us three things that you hate, man. <laughs> oh man, uh, bad coffee, bad scented coffee. candles, and I'd say people what? who don't old lady underwear. <laughs> yeah, and old lady underwear. Oh, people who are oh, people who uh, don't want to work on themselves. That pisses me off. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> he he yeah, didn't stretch. And I love scented candles. <laughs> don't understand why you wouldn't like them. Scented candles. There's They're no. The it makes no. No, it annoys me. We've got Jade. I did a. I did a gig. A bit about it. And today, on the way here, I promised my life she phoned me. She went to go grocery shopping, and she was like, oh, you never guess what I got at Farm Foods. Is it Farm Foods? Yeah. It's, it's a fucking Yankee candle. Sick. Why is she doing that? Like, we got so many. We got them in storage. Why is she doing that? Got them that? in storage. <laughs> we do. We got eight in the cupboard. Now we got nine in the cupboard. She, and she tries to sell it to me. She's like, I got us one that reminds of us when we were in South Africa during lockdown. I'm like, how does that work? Stop it. Because now... <laughs> Now, if I don't like the candle, I don't like the times with her. You know what I mean? She's linking it to memories yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it's evil, man. No, <laughs> I, it honestly. It's like, and we never used it once for illumination. <laughs> she just burns them. That's all. You know what I mean? Like, and she wastes, she's wasteful, man. The other day I woke up, what was it, like three weeks ago, she'd left the candle on the whole night. A Yankee candle. That's yeah, like 15 that pounds. <laughs> Not if you get it from we Farm Foods on offer. Yeah. Okay. 10 pounds. Well done, Jade. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'm, on, I'm on air side. On my no, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, honestly, we got one for each room. We got two in the kitchen. Don't you like things to smell good? Yeah, she's got two in the kitchen because it we smells like a dead granny's That's why we fucking got incense. Knickers. That's why we got incense. Thomas Edison did he invent the light bulb? He fuck, he made it. We we should never. We should <laughs> know what a candle <laughs> if is. Made, if he made we the light bulb smell like cinnamon, it wouldn't be a problem. <coughs> but right. he didn't. <laughs> Playing this on Edison. That's why Jade's you're buying shit at Farm Foods because Edison fucked up. Hey, you're the you one not that's think Edison. Edison. You're the one that's backing Lavender him. on your I'm candle in the bedroom so you can sleep better at night. <laughs> it's your fault, Thomas. That's my crime, exhuming his graveyard, just punching his. No, I, honestly, man. It's so, we, you don't understand. We've got 10, now nine candles. The anger's so real. That's, that's a weekend in Italy. I could be talking about teenagers <laughs> making out in a spa, but I've just got a fucking cupboard made full of wax and wick. Well, for what? Nice smell. No, nice. stop it. 